Hello and welcome to another ASC Productions video. Going over my HP laptop again, answering questions that people have uh, about the system. This is something I get a lot of questions about. Um, this is the BIOS. Um, just like some of the other laptops I reviewed, like the, uh, the Dell and the Asus, the BIOS settings on these are extremely minimal. These are not performance machines. These are meant for mainstream um, customers to the point where I doubt that they even expect most users to even come into the BIOS. Um, they, there's just not a whole lot here for anybody to make adjustments to. Just going through this one. Um, on the main one, you have your system time, your system date. You have a system log, which doesn't give you anything. If you go to security, you have the administrator password, power on password, uh, TPM device, um, TPM state, clear TPM, and restore security default to factory settings. That's it. Uh, system configuration, you have a language. You can turn on or off virtualization. You can set the fan to be always on. I don't have it always on. I don't. I like it being able to turn off. Um, action key uh, mode. Um, so basically what this one does is um, your function keys at the top, they can either be set to um, be the action that function normally would be. So like turn your screen brightness up and down, or your volume up and down um, as default and you have to hit the function key to turn, you know, to actually hit F12 or F3 or F1 or whatever. Um, or if you disable it then F1 is F1 until you hit the function key and then you can um, turn the brightness up and down. I have it set so the action keys because I almost never use function keys. Um, and then you have your boot options. So in here, I went down to the um, UEFI boot order, and I put um, the um, SSD as the main boot device. So people are wondering how to do that. You go under system, you go under uh, boot, and you go down to uh, boot manager um, to do that. Pretty simple. And you just hit F10 on that to save it. Now it actually gets funny. It gives you an internal CD-ROM drive as a um, as an option, and this doesn't have a CD-ROM drive. It has the, you know the port for one, but it doesn't actually have a CD-ROM. And then you can have a USB a CD-ROM, USB diskette, or um, USB uh, hard drive. And that's all your options in here. So CD-ROM boot doesn't even have CD-ROM, and it gives you that option. USB boot, obviously. Network boot yeah, by default is disabled. Um, secure boot enabled. So that's all you get in there uh, under system configuration. And then exit. You can say exit save changes, uh, exit discarding changes, or load a setup of defaults. So again, your options in here are very basic um, in the BIOS, which is a lot of people... You know, when I added more memory, like, oh, you go to the BIOS and, and, and add memory to the video card. No, you can't do that. Um, so, anyways, that's the BIOS. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the uh, uh, comment section down below. Do my best to answer those. Thank you.